So today I've decided to put together 10 tips for you to get better at player unknowns battlegrounds. Some of you out there we may have discussed before or seen before, but hopefully there'll be a few of you out there that we can at least help with this top 10 guide. So with that being said, let's get started on getting good at player unknowns battlegrounds. And the first tip for today is something I've wanted to know how people have been able to do for quite some time, and that's when certain people pop their parachute, they manage to travel really fast down before the parachute fully deploys. Well, now I know how. Towards the end of your freefall from the plane, make sure you're exceeding 230 kilometers per hour as your parachute is pulled. This will give you a longer boost in speed towards the ground before your parachute slows you down, allowing you to get to the ground before anybody else. And unless they're, of course, doing the same trick. As an example here, I was much lower than anybody else in the area, managed to get a gun before the guy that dropped in the same compound as me and take him out. Easy. Up next is something a lot of people still don't seem to do, and that's travelling at a 90 degree angle from the plane's trajectory. For example, if the plane is heading from west to east, jump out and travel north or west as far as you possibly can, for as little player encounter as possible and maximum loot. As for travelling the map as far as possible away from other players, I've noticed a lot of players tapping W to gain momentum and travel even further than you would normally by pressing and holding W. Once you've landed in your preferred location and you find a pile of loot on the floor, there's always a risk that there is another player in the area so why not try dragging from the ground into your inventory, as it currently avoids triggering the animation for pickup, saving you a little bit of time, making for faster looting. Once you've picked up your weapons and attachments and ammo, the attachments in your inventory you can simply right-click to instantly add to your weapons, making it a lot quicker than dragging to and from your weaponry. Of course, you'll still have to manually drag your scopes from each weapon that you desire, but initial setup of weapons and attachments can be done so much quicker, just with a simple right-click. Once you've set up your weapons and attachments with ease, when taking aim at the enemy, if you see a red circle on the wall next to you or an object, this means your shot is obstructed. As shown as an example in this footage on screen, the red circle is where my bullets will impact. I would then have to move slightly right to adjust for the obstruction in front of me. A lot of people still don't know what this red circle is, so I hope this helps you out. Another seemingly simple tip, but extremely helpful, is sticking to the maximum amount of cover available to you in any situation. If possible, always try to stick to the edge of buildings, trees, rocks, or the verge of hillsides. This will minimize the potential approach of threat from at least one side of you, making it easier for you to spot the enemy before they spot you. If you do spot the enemy and you want to sneak up to him, you can simply hold left control for a slower walk, or when you crouch and use it, you become extremely quiet like the ninja, allowing you to strike with maximum stealth and surprise. And if you're finding it hard to steady your weapon on your target, simply hold the left shift key to hold your breath, stabilizing your firearm under fire though you will have to keep an eye on your lung icon at the right of your health bar, as when completely depleted, you will no longer be able to sprint, making you an easy target when under fire. And finally, if you do take a hit in the butt cheeks, whilst waddling along because you've run out of stamina, while using meds behind a tree or a rock, you can move slightly using WASD, without cancelling the action. Meaning if somebody does approach you from the rear, and you are moving left to right frantically, it will be harder for them to get a kill shot on you, and giving you a better chance of 181 tapping them in the nose. Get all 10 of these tips down and you should be winning Battlegrounds matches in no time. I will put another tips video together soon, as soon as I find some worthwhile tips. I hope you enjoyed this video guys, leave a like if you did, leave a comment below if you have any more feedback and any other tips I could feature in a future video. And I'll see you peeps next time.